It's gigantic and it's incredible. Hi there, I'm John. This is Two Brothers RC and this. Beautiful. Landing. Oh. <laughs> is Jonal 2024. Don't have the power. Joe Nall is the apex predator of the model air show circuit. Every event wants to be Nall, but only Nall has this massive presence to it. Other events are great, don't let me take anything away from them. But nothing is truly as big as this. Oh boy, that is fast. To give you a quick recap on the event, Joe Nall is a celebration of model aviation and the fellowship that we should all share as model aviators, which is hosted at Triple Tree Aerodrome in South Carolina. The stars aligned and I was able to make it out after a four hour trip from Cary, NC. Not as bad as some other people, but still kinda not so fun. But I can say without a doubt it was worth it because this is the best damned event I've ever been to and one of my most cherished memories that I've ever had. I got in the Thursday before Nall started and I spent Friday to Sunday filming pilots landing, taking off, crashing, performing, and just enjoying one another's company. Speaking of fellowship, one thing that you might not know is that I'm actually really friendly with a lot of model aviation channels on YouTube. I count Brian Phillips and Adam from Model Aviator as both personal friends and really great people. And it was super cool to get to meet up with some of Adam's friends like Jake and Dustin who graciously let me reenact some of Adam's adventures in bush flying, like catching an F-16 out of the sky. Nice. Hey Adam, I'll switch YouTube channels. I don't oh, know. <laughs> it looks like he's defected. What do you think about that, Adam? So who are you again? I'm Dustin. I uh, fly with the Model Aviator down in Atlanta. That's awesome, man. Du uh, all now. Dustin is a good friend of Adam. Adam is a good friend of the channel, which makes Dustin a good friend of ours. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. Another one of Model Aviator's many friends, Jake, who is also here with Dustin. What do you got there, my man? That's my Avanti S, 80 millimeter. Look at that thing go. Rotate. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at it go. Huge thanks to Jake for filming this thing that you probably shouldn't be trying at home. And to Dustin for trusting that I wasn't going to wreck his jet. During my time at Joe Nall, I got to talk with a lot of people and what really surprised me is how many of those people recognized me out of a crowd. Maybe it helps that I'm really tall, so I do tend to stick out. Beautiful. I interviewed RC pilots from the three days that I was at Null to get their story and to understand why they picked me out of a crowd to chat with. Here's what happened. How you doing, Russ? Good, Jonathan. How's it going? Not bad, man. My first Null and guys like you are making it awesome to be here. Welcome. We're so happy to have you, brother. <laughs> well, I appreciate that the, uh, the welcome and everything, and hopefully I don't sound too stupid on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. So tell me more about these wings you got down here. All right, so these are all wings from Crash Test Hobby. Um, they range in a 55-inch wingspan down to, uh, I think the Assassins and Rebels are like 32-inch wingspans. They are absolutely the toughest planes on the planet. Um, which is why I like them so much. So these are all planes by uh, Crash Test Hobby that I've put together to try to have as good a time as possible out here. All these are for sale for people. Um, not trying to make a killing off of them, just a little bit for my time. I do spend an incredible amount of time putting these together uh, because of the composite construction that makes them so tough. Um, but the reason I like them so much, and I think you'll like them too, is because they are that tough. You can crash them into your buddies, you can crash them into the ground, and uh, just go pick it up and keep flying, man. That bull makes me uncomfortable. He's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the muscle bull. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot of these I've kind of overpowered, but I do have some stock setups as well for the lighter. You know, the heavier and faster you make it, the less durable it is, but sometimes you just want to go fast, right? Yeah, exactly. You fly, flying with other people is what I really enjoy. Right, yeah. So, you, when you have your normal plane, your $500 to $1,000 foamy, and you're out there, you really don't want to touch and crash. But with these, it frees your mind to that. So picture, if you will, digging this thing into the dirt or hitting your buddy. And instead of having a bad day or feeling bad for hitting your buddy, 
you smile, you both laugh, you go over, you pick your planes up, and you do it all over again and over again and over again. That so, sounds like heaven, man. It really, it really is. And I mean, that's that's why I've fallen in love with these things. Um, what makes them so tough is one, they're solid EPP, which is basically crush proof, right? You, you, you can't crush them. Huh. Then there's a shock cord that actually runs all along the perimeter of the wing, which keeps the EPP from tearing, distributes the impact throughout the planes. Um, as hard as I've hit these in, I've never picked one up that was not in one piece. Right, right on, man. Um, there's also this extreme tape, which is a bi-directional filament packing tape that has a very high breaking strength. I've never separated one of these uh, Elevon hinges ever. Yeah, that looks like some seriously heavy duty stuff. Speaking of that, this is the kind of crap we're flying in on day one of Joe Nall. It's gonna get better. I hope so. All right, so let's see this uh, proof in motion here. Well, we're gonna have a little fun first, buddy. All right. Damn, that thing's fast. I, I, I lost you completely. <laughs> There you are. Flat spin time, let's see it. Uh, if I can even find you, there you are. Oh, uh, I gotta get closer. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Nice save, impressive. With the wind too, I admire your tenacity. Oh, that is beautiful. And we'll just go pick it up and fly again. And he hit three of them. And the guy, you know, normally if the wing, you back, you get in trouble, you back out the throttle, you float in, this guy, wee, boom, bam, in the ground, <laughs> Go, picks it up. He walks out, picks it up, wee, <laughs> and you say, what in the hell kind of plane is that? I have to have, I have what to have. Looks like it's in one piece to me. Prop. That's it, huh? That's just, it. just a busted prop. So let's take a look at this thing and see the impact that it made. Nothing. Props, Abs the prop straight in the ground. Uh, yep, busted prop. That's it. That's it, huh? So busted prop. You can crash it all day long. I gotta go put a four dollar prop on it. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. I've got a ton of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to see you. The winds made it real challenging to fly on Friday, so I spent most of my time that day filming other people, including these daring turbine pilots flying in 40 mile an hour gusts. The gyro systems on a modern turbine jet are outstanding. You wouldn't even know there was any wind if not for the trees and the smoke trails that are drifting away from the jets. It has got to drive the anti-gyro crowd crazy to see people having fun in the wind when they're stuck on the ground. Get with the times. Stop hating tech just because it's new. One of the great things about Nall is the wide variety of unique aircraft that you'll see. And the most unique one that I saw had to be this witch stick kite thing. Hearing her cape fluttering in the breeze was super cool. She was a bit sensitive to rudder induced roll due to a very short wingspan, but man, whoever had this, please, you gotta bring her back to Nall in the fall. Seeing a witch fly around in October would be so cool. Hi, my name's Casey. Nice to meet you, Casey. And what is it you just told me off camera? Well, I just said that uh, I really enjoy the integrity you have on your channel. That means and also a lot. the information that you put out. Well, thanks so much. Because it's all rock solid information. I love when hearing I, that. And when I review other sites for an airplane that I might have or are thinking about purchasing, I make here's the last stop and I take that as gospel. That, <laughs> I mean, I mean, no joke, I, I can't believe that I'm hearing this in person. It's like, this is my first time being at Nall, and getting to hang out with guys like KC here has been, it's, it's like, and then the witch over here, yeah. is nothing less than phenomenal. Hey man, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Well, thank you for making the sport much better. Anytime, that's what I'm here for. It may not be immediately apparent if you haven't met me in person before, but I really and truly don't have a whole lot of self-worth. It took me a long time to even get the confidence to talk in front of a camera because I hated how I sounded, so obviously, I thought that everyone else must hate how I sound too. Getting comfortable enough in my own skin to make a YouTube channel as part of my regular life schedule is one thing. Meeting up with fans of the channel is quite another, and it really touched me how many people were just so happy to come up and chat and share their life stories with me. How you doing, guys? Doing good. Hey, great to be on camera. Yeah, you guys are fans of the channel, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, love I love that. the channel. I've been watching the channel since I was. So, real quick for, for the viewers at the back here, 
I, I'm just walking up to the flight line over there and these two fellows over here are like, hey, we know you from YouTube. And I'm like, like, are you serious? You guys know me? And I'm like, of course, I've had to get used to this because like, you're probably the 60th people by now who have come up and said, we know you from YouTube, which is awesome. And it's so cool to see like younger guys into this, even though I'm, I feel kind of young here because like I'm 40 and I don't have graying hairs all over the place. But like, it's still cool to, to see so many different people here that have a shared passion, like just proving that we can do this and that physics be damned, we'll do whatever we want to do, right? I mean, it's such an incredible community here. Like everybody, everybody's so friendly. Everybody loves the hobby and that's what kind of unites us. I was just talking to the AMA and they were so impressed about the amount of young people that they're seeing here. It's really great to see. Yeah, dude, no, for no joke. It's, I mean, I know I can look at my channel stats and see that I got a lot of older viewers, but it make, really warms my heart to see younger guys like you here too. So, uh, what was your names again? Aurelian. Aurelian. And Jolson. Jolson. And what was that? Jolson. Jolson? Yeah. Aurelian and Jolson. Good to meet you guys. Thanks nice. for being on. Thank you. Awesome. All right. So channel fan Aurelian has a Yoss 39 grip in. And let's see what he's going to be able to do. The maiden flight, right? Yeah, maiden flight. And you flight. can pick worse places to fly than here. That's for sure. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do with your grip in. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's such a beauty. The fighter jet of my people. Look at that. They can go. You got it up. Good job, man. Keep feeding him throttle. Keep feeding him throttle. There you go. Get that nose up more. Feed in more throttle. Look at you. Look at you go, sir. You are doing good. Look at that. Look at that. What a beautiful high alpha pass. Oh my god. My man really in here. Think up. Look at that. Get them gear out. You got the gear. I see all three. Get that nose up. You're gonna, there you go, not too much. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh my God, son, look at that. That was a beautiful maiden landing by Aurelian. Thank you. Uh, I'm a little too zoomed in on your face. What do you, what do you think, man? How was yeah, your- uh... it flies great. I'm excited to fly it more and get to know this plane. It's amazing. Yeah, dude, and you're only just scratched the surface yeah. of what you're gonna do. Yeah. Hey guys, Sean with Scale RC Engines here. I'm with Two Brothers RC and he's stopped to take a look at our E-Flight T28. Uh, this is outfitted with our dummy radial engine in the front, our cockpit kit as well. Oh, that looks uh, so good. Uh, the cockpit kits, come, they're uh, right out, available on our website, scalerceengines.com. It comes in full color. Uh, in the cockpit, you'll see two of the warbirdpilots.com figures that are we're a dealer for. They have, they're cooked with a, uh, both have a high voltage servo in them on a motion, random, a random motion ship. Uh, we're down here at the electric line at Joe No. We're gonna put some flights on it. Right. <laughs> that is one ugly looking witch, dude. Look at her go. Look at some pilots. Man, it's always nice to meet fans of the channel and yeah. get to see guys like you doing your thing out here. With, yeah, I love with, your stuff. Love it, 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 it's just, the video. They're moving their heads randomly. Yeah. What, what, the, what sorcery is this? Yeah. Little computer chip. Yeah. That's so cool, dude. That is that is so awesome. Hey guys, thanks so much for taking the time to chat today. Yeah, no, great meeting you. Yeah, love you too, guys. Yeah. It's a it's a. How out of the box model? Right how is this guy Richie with a DXS flying this Aero Scout so well? Look at this guy. He's up here clowning on me. Like I think he's just doing this to show me how bad I am. Look at this. Look at this guy go. He bouncing back and forth like you're. Th Get out of here. <laughs> as well as I can do it to the left. Ah, uh, stop it! It's so good. <laughs> Why are you so good at this? <laughs> I started at six. Oh, Mr. Fancy out here with his amazing uh, aeronautical DXS. knowledge. DXS. Get out of here, man. Me with my iX20. This guy makes me look like a like a clown. I like it, though. It's nice to see all these people with varying skill levels just not being afraid to fly and have fun. Oh, my. Look at this thing. Look at this thing go. It's like, a, it's like watching some dude fly like an ultimate or something out here. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, my God. All right, this is Jim from Mid Lothian, Virginia. How you doing, Jim? I'm doing great. So, man, what brought you out here today? Uh, first time to know. Wanted to uh, experience what everybody always talks about, and uh, happened to run into you, which was a great <laughs> thing on day one. So, yeah, man. Well, technically, technically it's day two, but yeah, day uh, one yeah. for you, right? Day one for me. Yeah, yeah, there you go. 
Um, but yeah, I know it's that it's that guy on YouTube with that giant mouth, and he doesn't stop talking. And it's like it's always fun to to, to get people's perspectives on stuff. And I mean, I've had this is probably the fifth, sixth interview I've had with people already. And like, tell me what you what, what do you what brought you to Two Brothers? What do you think about us? Uh, I like the content you're putting out there. Uh, you're, you're reviewing the Jets. I like. I like the way that you're doing the point system now and uh, oh, yeah. giving a good, honest review and um, all the things you love about the Jets, the way that you're tweaking them to make them perform more like the real machines that you see in the air. And you are or used to be an aircraft mechanic, right? Yeah, I used to be an aircraft mechanic on F-15s. Oh, that's so. awesome. The, the, nothing but mad respect for being able to do that because that's, that's a ton of work and oftentimes in the searing heat, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I bet you got really, really familiar with the smell of Corrosion X too. <laughs> yeah, the JP8. Oof. It's, uh, it's something that you get used to and you kind of love it after a while. Oh man. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with us, Jim. It was great to meet you. All right, thank you. Cheers, great to buddy. Meet you. <laughs> <laughs> On Saturday, I moved up to the main line, courtesy of my friend Jameson Clark, whose golf cart made it much easier to get around Triple Tree. Huge thanks, buddy, and all your hospitality was so amazing. Being on the main line is where you get to watch turbines do their thing up close, and it also gave me the opportunity to catch other fans of the channel who wanted to tell their stories, too. Hey man, how you doing? Hey, good. Appreciate all your content on YouTube. Yeah, thanks so great much. Job, and it's great to run into you here. Yeah, man. What's your name again? My name's Robin. Nice to meet you, Robin. Hey, it's it's yeah. awesome to meet guys like you out here. Like I have talked to so many people in the last day. You might remember that my voice is a little bit more full. Well, I'm going hoarse from all the people I've talked to. It's insane. <laughs> Plus, trying to talk over that pulse jet down there last night. Oh, that thing. <laughs> It's so loud. Oh my god. I can't it's believe how, how awesome this event is. My first time being here and guys like you made it totally worthwhile. Wonderful. My first time too. Really? Yeah. Awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, it's, it's just wonderful. It's so <laughs> exciting and overstimulation and all the planes and all the people. Yeah, it's it's something we got to come back to next year, for right? Sure, for oh, sure. Man. Hey, thanks for your time, buddy. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for all your content. Thanks again. In between meeting people, I got to hang out with Zavi Machinchi, who's an incredible turbine pilot. I somehow even convinced him to do an inverted high alpha pass with his jet. Really not that far off of the deck. Maybe it should have been a little bit higher, but who cares? It was freaking awesome. Only the best for you, Johnny. Only the best for Johnny, huh? Oh, look at this. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. I can't shut up. This is too good. Oh my god, dude. Look at that go. Later on, and what still blows me away, he hooked me up with a turbine flight on one of Ali Machinji's MB339 trainers on the main line. Getting trusted to fly something like this, even with a buddy box, is still one of my favorite memories ever. Nervous? A little bit, a little bit. My first time doing a turbine. Hopefully I, uh, I don't make anybody uh, laugh at me or I don't make a clown of myself. The pattern got a little full, so Allie ended up having to land for me, but man, what an experience. One of these days I'll get my own turbine jet. But what surprised me about the main line was that even the guys with jets that cost more than my car 
still watch our channel. What's going on, man? How's it going? Not Matthew Matthew back from Montana, um, out here at Joe Nall 2024 for the first time. Flying my Ultra Bandit, we're on the main line, having a great time. Is that yours right there? Uh, no, that's not, right there. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, that is a beast. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's great uh, getting to meet the Two Brothers RC YouTube channel um, out here. It's awesome. Um, I think it's their first time here as well. It is. Awesome, cool. Um, yeah, this is a great event. Uh, definitely, you know, be on the lookout for all his videos. All the content he puts out is, you know, it's really, really quality. Listen to what he's saying and everything. But you know why it's a great event? Because of people like you, that's oh, why. No. <laughs> everybody, everybody here. The people, you know, we come, we fly, but ultimately this RC hobby, it's all just based on, you know, flying and friendships that you build from flying. It's, it's all blast. That's stuff. right, man. This is awesome. Hey, so great to meet you, Patrick. Nice to meet Appreciate you. your time, buddy. Awesome. This is Brady Ogerloon, and he is a friend of mine from the Discord server. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. So what do you think of the channel? Oh, it's great. I love your reviews. Uh, just getting more people in the hobby by seeing your videos. I really like it. I love seeing your videos. It's just so much for being camera shy. See, this guy's got some talent, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate you taking the time to chat. Oh, you're over there. Appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today, man. I'm trying not to go hoarse with all the talking I've been doing, but it is so cool to meet guys like you and everybody else that I've met here at the, at the event. And I can't wait to post this on Saturday. Thanks for taking the time, man. Yep. And recording. My name is Jonathan Gorey. I love this guy's channel. Thanks, man. It's so cool to meet you out here, especially over the din of these turbines running, man. It is so cool to meet guys like you that are like, how? You, buddy? I'm 12. 12, huh? I remember being 12 like uh, 26 years ago, something like that. It was a while ago. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard to hear anybody out here. Hey man, it's so cool to meet you. I'm glad that we got to, to get a chance to talk and, and I can't wait to see you fly your turbine here in a sec. Let's move back to the main electric line again, which takes a bit of walking if you don't have a buddy like Jameson to ferry you around in a golf cart. <laughs> I got the chance to fly my Freewing Eurofighter a little bit on camera and just a little bit of the F-16 70mm version 3 doing tight takeoffs, backflips, cobras, inverted cobras, barrel rolls, and feathered landings. If you haven't gotten this jet yet, check our review on it again. It is insanely cool and so much fun to demo its potential for a crowd. Yeah, put you on there. Let's see, we've got Ron here with his B1 that he just landed. Good work on that, my man. Yeah, we fly our seeds, man. All kinds, of everything. Yeah, oh man, we do. it's so much fun, isn't it? Oh man, it's so much fun. Your channel is great too, by the way. Oh, thanks so much, man. Yeah, I learned a lot from you. I mean, I've learned a lot too being yeah. here, just about how amazing every one of you guys yeah. is, and just you if can't you take wanna, any. If you want to learn how to program, look at his channel, <laughs> Two Brothers. I was got to say, yeah. I, you know, you can't take anything for granted when you come out and meet all these awesome people exactly. and all the things that they can do, and and you just like the, the smiles on their face when they come to chat with me. It's just the, the best exactly. feeling ever. Yeah, it is. You guys are so great. Yeah. With my brother right here, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. How you doing? <laughs> doing well? <laughs> Thank you. On Sunday, my last day at Joe Nall, I didn't get to fly as much as I wanted to because I did have to go home on a four-hour trip back to the Raleigh area. So I spent most of the day meeting fans of the channel like... We got... Glenn Bellows here from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. That's uh, Brian Phillips territory there. Yeah. How I you doing, man? I haven't bumped into him yet, but hopefully one day. He'll be here this week. He, oh, yeah. He's a great guy. I love talking to him. Yeah, I've, things have been pretty good. This is my first gnaw. I brought with me uh, six planes. Right now I'm holding the 64 millimeter Freewing F9F Panther. This is the 3S version. They did just release the 4S version. I did pick that up as well. Okay. That can go about 100 miles an hour, so that thing really screams for its size. I saw you doing, doing some Two Brothers style stuff up there, spinning uh, yeah. things around. Yeah, I, this, I figured I, I can get it to do Cobra spin loops. Ooh. Um, they're a bit tricky if I'm using my older batteries because it really it has a slight upwards thrust angle, so I really need that extra power to get it yeah, to, yeah. to do that. But I, I can also get it to do some really steep carriers um, if I, I got a mix. Um, elevator to oh, spoiler on. There you go. Uh, that is that is own, some. That's a two brother special right there. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, um, I actually got that idea from your channel, seeing those sorts of mixes. Hunching. Oh, that was easy. 
<laughs> I should have done it. <laughs> oh, oh you touched. Nice. Good that job, man. I've never been asked to sign something for someone before. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, Glenn. Hope you had a great time at Nall, and I hope that that panther grows in value someday. Oh. Look at that thing go. You are doing a high alpha pass, man. Glenn, right? Yep. Good job, man. Good job. That is impressive. That is some two brothers stuff right there. Thank you. Oh, man. That, you're making me proud, dude. And that, that's on a three channel, three S setup, too. Oh, you, you're kidding me. Speaking of people, this man almost made me speechless. I just had to stop this gentleman. I know his name is Jonathan. I'm Tyrone Johnson. I'm from Georgia, Sugar Hill. I watched this young man, and the reason why I'm here today is because of this young man right here. I mean, I'm so glad to see you, to meet you. I ain't shake your hand yet, but I got a big hand. I'm gonna shake your hand, man. Let's do it. Awesome. Man, awesome. it's so nice to meet you, man. I'm so glad you got it. I hope you're here to fly a little bit so you can get out of your little space that you fly on that you talk about. I'm up there. I'm going back up there. All right, you're welcome to hang out all yeah, you want. I'm gonna take a picture. My wife's gonna take a picture. I'm gonna say I do that. Nice. I did it. I'm gonna get my camera. You, you got your camera handy? Jonathan, I man. Mean, man, that's nice. Joe and all is something else. You guys have to make it out here sometime. I'm trying to tell you, man. It's this is my I've been coming. Last year I couldn't come because I had surgery. <laughs> then this and all that stuff. Then there's a football practice I couldn't come. And finally, you made it. I'm glad I could be here with you. I'm glad you're here too, because I was like, man. I gotta see this Jonathan guy. He real. I don't think he's an AI guy. I don't no, know. no, I've been called AI, but this is a true I'm voice. I'm sitting there looking at you, Father Raphael. I'm sitting up there wondering, man, one day I can be like him. I'm gonna fly my jet, hey, man. I always say it. If I can do this, anybody can do it. You say it all the time. That's yeah, true. I, I mean, sit there and watch you in your little. I watch you in your little place where you have all your planes at and I mean, great I'm, things. I'm dumb as hell, man. If I can do this, anybody can do it. But I watched you several times and I just can't get it. But I'm not worried about that yet. For my 22. But it's it's awesome, man. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you're here. Nice to meet you, man. I'm gonna take a picture with you. All right, John here, and who do I have with me today? Kareem from Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, in my yes, hometown sir. areas. Yes, sir. And yes, you also have Shane Jaton from Charlotte, North Carolina as well. Two Charlotte man. Yes. Nice. Sir. How are you guys doing? Very well. You love it out here. We come here. It's our second time coming. Uh, second time? It's my first. It's our second time here, and uh, we came last spring. Yes, we came last spring, and we came last fall. Oh, man. I, I wish I had been here more than once. I, I've missed out so much until now. I never realized how amazing this event was until I started meeting guys like you who just randomly come up to me and like, hey, I know you from the tubes. And I'm yes. like, yes. I don't know you, but I'm happy that I got a chance to. Yes. You guys are so freaking awesome. Thanks for taking the time to chat. What have we uh, What have we done for, to help you guys out? Um, well, the first thing was uh, F-22. The F-22. The, the 90 from Freeway? The 90 from Freeway, yes. Yeah. Right. The F-22 is what did it. Um, and from that, we just kept watching and kept watching. Uh, all the, all the help just it helps. I mean, we started out with the phones, now we fly 3D, but we still fly phones, so we're still learning and still flying. Well, I would want to say, uh, yeah, I didn't, of course, I didn't get my F 22. It's amazing, it's the one you had, the way you had, Joe. You made it look so easy. I mean, I was like, I can do it. But um, I got it up, it, it flew great. I mean, I was like, wow, like, it was great. And um, I also, um, I went into Anderson RC before, and um, I talked to Matt, and I, Matt was mentioning you as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I was like, oh, really, really? He's like, yeah, he was just in here not too long ago. And I was like, wow. like, So it was pretty great, you know, seeing somebody that, that you see on YouTube. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then you see them in person, and, they, and they're looking at you like, oh, <laughs> well, I know you. <laughs> and then you get to thank them for the help. Right, you, you get to thank them for the help. Right. I mean, if anything, thank you guys, because, I mean, the experience of getting to meet everybody who, who is there to support what we do, we, we wouldn't do this if it wasn't for you guys. Right. If right. there was nobody to watch, there would be nothing to do. Right. Yeah, so right. you guys are really the core of what we do, the community behind what we do. If without you, there's no reason to do it. I, I wouldn't put up with it. It doesn't pay enough to, to be worth it otherwise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But meeting up with you guys is one of the highlights of my trip. Just all the people here and all the people just randomly come up and aren't afraid to talk because I'm not going to bite you. I love talking to people. Right, right, right. If anything, I went hoarse yesterday. I lost my voice because I was talking to people till 11 o'clock at night. Wow. Yep. And I, I mean, if anybody, it's that big ugly guy that doesn't shut up on YouTube. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I will talk to anybody about anything. It don't matter. <laughs> yes, hey guys, thanks a lot for taking the time to chat. And Pleasure. 
Saturday. See you on Saturday. Oh, yeah, see you on Saturday. We Cheers, guys. The rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here in the 3D electric line at Joe Nall 2024 with Christopher, who is a subscriber of Two Brothers. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. It's a great event, first time here, so nice to finally see you face to face. It's everything you thought it would be, which is very disappointing. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's the big deal. It's our Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean me, meeting no, me. No, meeting you is good, man. Yeah, okay. I gotta be honest. Uh, you know, you are unbiased. You show your crashes. You show your successes, and you know, I, mean, you I really me. appreciate all your uh, feedback. You saw me crash. Well, not me. It was the, the push rod that came loose in that super tank. That was good. We were camped right across from where you were flying, yeah, and it was a great flight, dude. I was like, dude, this guy's really ripping it up. And then the next thing I know, it was coming into a million pieces. It's well, a yard sale. It can happen to anybody, and juju yeah. happens all the time, man. It does, it's man. so great to be able to meet guys like you. You are probably like the 80th person I've talked to. I went horse yesterday this morning i barely talked of all the talking i was doing it was insane and it just it's amazing to be out here and meet every single one of you guys and all the the, the fun shared passions we have with this hobby and man just thanks for taking the time to chat with me 100 cheers buddy cheers all right i got ethan ader or is it adder Ader. Hey, yep. Ethan Ader here with yeah. me from Horizon Ader Hobby. Here. Here, we are, here we are at Joan All 2024, um, here with Jonathan Holmes. He's uh, Two Brothers Radio Controllers. He does a lot of great reviews on all of our E-Flight stuff, and he's an incredible pilot. Honestly, I love watching his uh, his bush flying. Super, super cool. He's flying through trees. And, frankly, I don't know how many times it takes you, but it would take me probably 100 tries just to like get through those trees. I mean, honestly, man, it, uh, I put all the bloopers in there. So when I ran into something, it was in there. Yeah, uh, those are honestly the funnest videos I've, I've made are just the bloopers. I've been inspired by other channels to do that. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, it, it all comes down to setup. It all comes down to making the airframe do what you want it to do. And the For stuff sure. you all make makes it work. It just it's so much fun. It's a blast, man. And that's what's fun, too. Like, I do a lot of the giant scale 3D stuff. But I'll tell you what, this E-Flight stuff, even the smaller foam stuff, it's just a blast because it's stress-free. You know, you can go take it on an adventure. It's almost like the best way that I like to explain it is almost like rock crawling, but with right. RC planes because it's right just on. low stress. Just go on, chill. <laughs> no stress. That's the best way to explain it. And I got to say, I, you know, some of y'all call me a shill for loving Horizon, but if it wasn't good, I wouldn't love them. So thanks a lot, Ethan. Yeah, no problem. I look forward to flying with you and uh, hanging out with you more this week. All right, man. I am here on the electric uh, 3D line. I can't think. I'm John, two brothers. This is Kobe. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. We are here at Triple Tree Aerodrome for Joe Nall 2024. Never been so excited. We're gonna have an awesome time here. Oh man, you know, the sad thing is I gotta go back to Raleigh here in a few minutes and you're the last guy I get to meet today. So I'm, I'm super happy I got a chance to talk to you. Man, uh, you've been watching me for a while, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I do love your channel. I enjoy your uh, in-depth reviews on things. You go really in-depth on things and explain things very well. Uh, so I like some of your setup videos uh, for only a lot some of, a lot of Horizon <laughs> plays. Some I, I'm just messing all with you. of your setup. There videos. you go. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> now nah, you're good, man. I'm just yeah. messing with you. Yeah, you help with some recommendations for power packs and all all the other things. So there's that one of the that dude right the there. Yamaha. Yeah, look at that. That's that's yeah. the style right there. We got Patrick on the Yamaha over there. Yeah, I actually had a chance to get him on camera earlier too. That guy's a phenomenal pilot. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, Patrick's a great guy. Uh, JR guy, awesome guy as well. Man, yeah. it's just it's been nothing less than a, like a privilege and an honor to come out here and chat with every one of you guys. And I'm so glad I get to leave on a high note. I set a hard limit of myself for 6 p.m. I yeah. got to get back to Raleigh in four hours so I can go to bed and get the sun burn off of me and, <laughs> and just enjoy the rest of my evening. But yeah, wrapping up here, man. Thanks for taking the time to chat with me. You are you guys are all great. Love Horizon to death. Absolutely. Can't wait to see what all you, you guys come out with next time. All right. Cheers, buddy. Thank you so much. See ya. I didn't anticipate that this video would be so long, so thanks for sticking with it. And if you met me in person at Null, know that I appreciate it every bit of your time. You guys made this event worth coming to, and you guys are why Liz and I put the effort into two brothers that we do. Without a community to watch what we make, there's no point in uploading content. Joe Nall is a huge cross-section of the community, and it was a privilege to get to meet every one of you. Here's hoping that we can make it back for NAL 2025. Thanks for watching and consider joining us on Discord via the link in the description. See you next time.